I've spent the last six months experimenting with all kinds of AI tools for entrepreneurs, and unfortunately, most of them are a complete waste of time. So I'm gonna save you a bunch of time and money by giving you my top list of AI tools. And because we have so much to cover today, let's jump right in. If you're anything like me, as soon as you put your head to a pillow, you start coming up with awesome creative ideas, but as soon as you sit down and put pen to paper, all those ideas just disappear. So let's kick it off with a couple copywriting tools. For this one, I won't be talking about ChatGPT because I'm sure lots of you are already spending lots of time in there. So the first up is gonna be copy.ai. This for me is a tool that takes it one step further and is really fine tuned for copywriting. So you can get very specific about what type of content you're trying to write. Is it a social media post for LinkedIn? Are you trying to create an SEO optimized blog article? The goal for this kind of tool is to get very specific. Now the second tool in the copywriting category is jasper.ai. This is a platform that started off like many other AI copywriting tools, quite generic but now it's very specific. Jasper.ai is focused on copywriting for marketing strategy. So this is a platform that focuses not only on the copywriting itself, but also it's gonna help you in implementing marketing strategies. And in a recent release, they've made it very clear that they're focused on quality copywriting. Okay, now next on my list, and because it's actually awesome to have an AI copywriting assistant right where you work, I wanna talk about Notion.ai. So Notion is a tool that I use pretty much every day to organize myself. We have everything from the weekly sprints to my content production calendar. I take all of my notes inside of Notion. And if you just press space inside of this tool, you're gonna to get access to a copywriting assistant. So I'm inside Notion here and I just created a new page called Notion.ai. I added a cover picture here of this beautiful flower. If I just press enter, as you can see, you'll be able to do different things with AI. You can create summaries, you can choose specific actions, translate, you can prove the writing that you've created, you can change the tone of the writing, you can do a bunch of different things. You can also brainstorm ideas, write blog posts, all sorts of things. And so the main reason I use this tool is because it really is inside of my workflow and it is very practical. And because copywriting oftentimes comes with design, I wanna talk about a couple of design tools that I enjoy. First up, if you're an entrepreneur trying to get a first brand off the ground, there's this really cool tool called Luca.ai. This tool is really cool because it not only allows you to very quickly create a logo, but also a brand around it. And it helps you being able to visualize that brand very quickly. I recommend this for entrepreneurs because oftentimes you can spend years trying to figure out your logo and the perfect name for your company. But the truth is, the people don't buy from you because you have an awesome logo or domain. And when you get first paying customers and you prove your model out, have product market fit, then you can go ahead and invest more in your brand. And Luca.ai really gives you no time to think too much about it. And again, you can just input some information, check out a couple designs that it creates based on the name that you have. You can choose designs that you'd like it to look like. And then it's gonna give you a huge number of options that you can just select from. The third tool I wanna talk about here that I actually surprisingly use quite often is remove.bg. You can upload any image that you'd like and it's automatically just gonna remove the background. Then you can fine tune it a bit export it and you can use it within all other designs you might be working within. Now copywriting and design is super important, but if you don't have first customers, you're basically not a business. So the next category I'm gonna be talking about are a couple of tools for both selling and marketing. So for the marketing side of thing, Canva just released their Magic Lab. It actually gives you a huge number of features that allow you to create content for social media posting very quickly. So this is Canva Magic Studio. And for those of you who don't know what Canva is, it's a very easy way to create designs and create social media posts and all kinds of marketing material uh, without really having any design skills. And their Magic Studio is actually a way to have access to lots of different tools, image generators, video creation tools. Here are their AI tools to be able to quickly create from just text, a short video explainer, for example, or an image, if you'd like to use that. You can also switch specific formats just to be great for different platforms, uh, languages as well. And because all this is already in Canva, it's very practical and very easy for people's process. So ultimately, it's an entire suite of AI tools for design right inside of Canva, which is already a design tool. So super practical. Now the second tool is for people who think that Microsoft never releases anything cool. Well, believe it or not, Microsoft actually released a pretty cool design tool. So this is a free tool and it's called Designer by Microsoft. And it's actually a suite of different AI tools for design. So there are certain things like an image creator, right? You just input text and it'll create an image for you, similar to Dali. You can also use an existing image and have it 
erase existing people, for example, like here, who are inside the shot. You could remove backgrounds, kind of like another tool we just talked about. You could create a brand kit. You could also, if you have an image, but it's kind of a narrow shot, like you see here, you could expand that image with AI. So you could get a wider shot of that. So all in all, this is really cool and it's free. Now the next tool is for people who already do marketing with long format video. So it could be a video podcast, it might be just an interview series or potentially even recording presentations or lectures, then Opus Clip might be an awesome tool for you. It basically allows you to upload your video content for long format and then it automatically with AI is going to find the parts that are the most impactful. It's going to create captions and it's going to let you review more than 30 different shorts from that long format content. So this can be a great way to create content at scale and repurpose your already impactful long format videos. And if you want a second option, option for that kind of tool, then check out video.ai. Before you get lost all over the internet, it's video with a Y. But anyway, the next tool I want to talk about is a tool that's going to help you save so much time on repetitive emails, very similar emails for different use cases over and over again, with maybe a couple of words changed. So for all of those template emails, there's a really cool and free tool called Blaze. You can check it out at blaze.today. And instead of writing out that whole email, you can simply create a shortcut that automatically writes the email for you. And sure, if you want to adapt a couple lines, you can absolutely do that within the already written email, which gives you a lot of the benefits of automation without having to lose on the personalization of that email. Now on the subject of writing the same thing over and over and over again, let's talk about a cool AI tool that helps you with customer support. It's called AidBase, and it's basically an AI tool that allows you to use your existing data to train both a ticketing system and a chatbot so that you can provide the best support to your customers. So you can train it on your existing data and what it does is it also uncovers knowledge gaps. So it can actually monitor the conversations that are taking place and figuring out where people have very similar questions. So I could upload things like my website, I could upload a bunch of my YouTube videos, I could also train it on documents I've created and it's basically going to save me so many hours on ticket support, and it'll provide answers of not only exactly what you want to tell people, but also that gets more intelligent, the more people use it. And you can also connect it to all the tools that you already use, for example, Slack or WhatsApp or Messenger, or maybe uh, zap your connection, right? And by the way, all the tools I'm talking about, you can find the links underneath in the description. Okay, so what if your marketing strategy is only about getting leads, you also need to be doing sales in parallel? Well, there's a couple tools I want to present you to. The first one is otter.ai. Now this is an AI assistant that you can invite to your meetings. It's gonna be able to create transcripts. And I oftentimes use this for customer discovery interviews. It's a really good note taker. And then you can actually grab all of those notes. You can input them into ChatGPT with a couple of good prompts to understand the insight that you might be able to get from that conversation. And ultimately the goal is to continually improve at your sales game. Okay, Christian, but that's when you actually get calls. How can you do prospecting? Well, that's where this next tool kind of shines. It's called seamless.ai and it's a prospecting tool that leverages AI to do all sorts of things. At this point, some of you might be wondering why I'm talking about sales and marketing before I talk about building products, right? I mean, after all, it's really uncomfortable to go out there and sell before you actually have a product to sell. Well, here, my friend, I would disagree and say that you have to be talking to customers before you actually have something so that you can build the exact thing that they want, especially for early stage founders, that you're building something that they're willing to pay for. But of course, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. So I'm gonna now give you a couple of builders that allow you to build websites with AI and apps. Now, before I do that, I wanted to give a quick shout out to some amazing no-code tools that are now leveraging AI. The first one is a tool called Bubble. It allows you to build very powerful web apps. Now they've already released some really cool features, but they've announced some really big features coming out soon. So I can't wait to see what Bubble brings next. And the second one is Webflow, probably the most powerful and beautiful website builder out there who have also released some awesome features and have a great AI roadmap up ahead. Back to AI tools. Now in the AI website building category, I want to shout out Framer.ai. AI. Framer allows you to build really beautiful websites, but they recently released a prompt based website builder that actually builds the entire website, writes the copy, creates first illustrations, and even comes up with a brand, all with just a couple lines of text. Another AI feature I really like is that they have this plugin that allows you to do HTML paste. So you can go to your website, you can grab the HTML, and you can just plug it right into Framer. You can import your designs from Figma or Sketch. There's also some pretty good collaboration tools. But of course, if you're looking to build something a little bit more complex, there is a new tool called Softer that just released their AI builder as well. It allows you to build communities, membership platforms, 
client portals, all with only a couple of prompts. It's super exciting. Now the software editor is so simple to use. As you can see here, you can simply add blocks. The adaptation of those blocks can be super easy. So as you can see here, you can just change what's in the title. Um, there are some styling settings, so you can have a certain amount of flexibility with the styling. And this is one of those tools where you really get a great return on investment. Now, since software is already a no-code tool or a drag and drop app builder, once you actually get the base app, you can adapt it to what you're looking to create. And what I love the most here is that it's really setting the precedence for where we're going with AI. Now, if you're looking to build something more like a mobile app, there's this really cool mobile app builder that's completely prompt based as well. It's called Buzzy. And this is very much the same concept. You can simply write out a prompt and it's actually going to build out the entire app for you with several different screens, including the login, the different profile pages. Let's say if you have something like a marketplace and just like an app, you're gonna have all the categories at the bottom. And by the way, if you're looking to build a startup or a business, but you don't know how to code, then check out our free course below because at We Are No Code, we teach people how to launch their startup ideas with no code and AI tools. That's right, my friends, the game has changed and it has never been a better time to launch a startup as a non-technical entrepreneur. Now, next up on my list is tom.app. Whether it's pitching a customer to get their business, an investor to get their money, there's nothing better to organize your ideas than a nice little presentation or pitch deck. Now, this tool has actually really surprised me in its ability to just come up with a full presentation out of the blue and even choose some pretty cool imagery and text as well to go along with it. So this tool really hits three birds with one stone. Okay, so here we're inside of Tome and I'm gonna create a new presentation. I can choose to just select a template and also choose to create one. And this is where the AI is super powerful. So I'm gonna create a simple prompt that says how to build and launch a startup with no code and AI. And as you see, it's gonna generate an outline first. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna generate all pages. And boom, in just about 30 seconds here, it created not only the headlines, the different slides based on the outline, but also populated it with images to look pretty slick as well. Here are a couple market figures and it basically provides everything that we've put inside here, an outline of everything that would be in these slides. And this just gives you a really strong set of starting blocks. So it's incredibly powerful and will just save you a bunch of time. Okay, but Christian, what if I'm trying to build AI? That's right, just like Leo in Inception, you can actually build AI with AI. And of course, me and DiCaprio go way back. If you're looking to build a simple AI tool, I would recommend for you to check out GPTs by ChatGPT. You can create an AI chatbot or voice agent just through prompts. And they're even soon gonna be releasing an official marketplace to be able to trade those. So think of it just like the App Store at first, people would create apps for pretty much everything, right? But this is the easiest way to create your own AI with your own data and with a couple of prompts. But if you're looking to do something a little more sophisticated, like booking calls, updating your CRM, or even cold calling your leads, then you can use a platform called synthflow.ai. But you'd probably be surprised to know that this AI startup was built with no code tools, and they recently raised $1.8 million from investors. And so if you wanna know how they launched their startup with no code in two weeks and raised $1.8 million, then check out this video because I'll be talking all about it. And now I'll wait with you until the end of this video so that you can watch the next one. Yeah, I also don't have a watch.